the house? Yes, at the moment it's raining. Yeah. Right here, it starts to rain a little bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you so much for being here, people. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Good night, teacher. Everybody is okay at home. Some of you have seen I'm working, right? Milagro de la Paz, I'm sorry. Because you have this schedule. Yes, sir. Oh, so you, you have the night shift this week. I'm Oops. working. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, okay? It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, sir. Um, Welcome, people. We're going to start with the class. As you may know, it's raining in some places, unfortunately, right? Uh, but here we go again. Let's try to learn something new. As you may know, we've been working with this thing that is called future. So we're going to continue working on this one. Today, we, have, we will have more examples or let's say a little bit of more information about it. Okay, so we can be clear about this thing. Future events with will and going to. And this is class number 14. As you may know, we finished this week with, with this module. We finished that on Friday. Yes. So don't forget that you have uh, the activities on the platform. So uh, please go ahead and do those. I am seeing that there is like, um, well, there are some students that did it already, which is wonderful. Uh, great job. Uh, but for the rest that haven't finished yet, uh, please do it. If any chance you have a problem, you can, uh, I don't know, let us know in the WhatsApp group that we have, or uh, you can get in contact with me or also with the person that is in charge of, of checking those those things. Okay? Um, thank you. Let's begin. We're going to have a little bit of the grammar content here. Uh, help me reading this part. Uh, Camilo, please read the information that is on the screen. Okay. I'm going to do something. I'm going to watch TV this evening. She is going to watch TV this evening. Morning this evening. Thank you so much. Right. So we have like... um. A combination of these parts of the day. We have the morning and then we have the evening, right? So if you see the examples, and the girl is talking about something in the evening, pretty much. Right now she's in the morning, and then she's gonna be like working in the evening. So the activity she's gonna do it in the evening, right? That's why we're working with going to. Here we have Back again, what is the grammar structure that we have for this one? Here we have, as you may see, uh, the pronouns, then uh, the verb to be. <laughs> Look at that. Do you remember that verb to be? That annoys <laughs> everybody? <laughs> Here we have it one more time. With the future, just, just for you to remember, hey, I'm the verb to be, and I'm here. <laughs> Annoying you with the future. Okay. And then we have the structure going to, and then a verb in, um, let's say, infinity form, which is do, drink, and watch, depending on the things that we want to communicate, okay? So this is with affirmative statements. And here we have with questions. As you may know, if we have a verb to be, like a helping verb, right? We need to use the verb to be to make questions. Unless we are using the double H words, questions were like what, which, where, that's something else. But if you want, if you're going to ask a normal question with um, going to, the structure will begin with a verb to be, then the subject, then going to, and then a verb in infinity, right? Pretty much that's the way. Here we have more examples, as you may see. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio, good evening. Nice to have you. Help me out, please, reading this information on the screen. I am going to do something. Equal, I have decided to do it. My e intention is do is to do it. I decide do it. I am going to do, do it. Pass. Give me. Pass, I decide to do it. Now I am going to do it. Future, 
I am going to buy some books tomorrow. Sarah is going to sell her car. I am not going to have bread, but this morning I am not hungry. What are you going to wear to the wedding next week? Your hands are dirty. Yes, I know. I am going to wash them. Are you going to invite Martin to your party? Thank you so much. Here we have like more examples in context that we can use as uh, this going to. All right. So as you may see here, we like we, we think about an action that we're gonna do in the future. So we think before we do it. That's pretty much what this thing is telling us. Right. Um let me see. Here we have this one as well. Uh, more examples in context. Juan David uh, Madrid, please read the information. Yes. Sometimes it's going to happen. Sometimes it's going to happen. Uh, we can see. Now, that is it's sure to happen. Look at the sky. It's going to rain. Black cloud, no rain. Oh dear, it's in eight o'clock and I am not ready. I am going to be late. Uh, eight o'clock now, I'm not ready, late. It's going to rain. Exactly. This is another way that we can use this going to based on the things that we are seeing, right? So we can predict what is going to, what is going to happen based on the situation or the scenario we're having, right? So you can predict, oh, it's going to, this is going to happen based on this one, based on this, uh, let's say, situation. Uh, we can use the going to, uh, future with going to, to talk about it. Okay, so. Teacher, uh, uh, teacher una, una, una pregunta. En yeah. este contexto, en este contexto es porque uno ya sabe que la tormenta está por caer, porque si no, o sea, es una probabilidad, ¿no? Y sería will en vez de going to. Exactly. So you're outside, right? And you see the clouds, right? So based on that, right, you you see it that uh, it is going to rain. So you see like everything dark, and um, based on that information, that is going to happen, right? Uh, a heavy rain. Ana Beatriz, good evening. Thank you. Uh, and then in the other one, the other example is like you're doing an activity, for example, sometimes. And, and sometimes we forget, like, oh, this, uh, the time, right? We, we don't check the time. And then suddenly, oh, I'm late. You know, it's, it's that because that is true, right? That is based on the, the things that, it, that are happening to you at the same time. So you know that you're late. Yeah, so it's like, there is a huge percentage of that thing uh, will happen. Yeah, so that's why we, we can use going to, to communicate that. Yes, uh, I know that the weather sometimes is unpredictable, right? Yes, uh, that's true. But um, based on the on the context, as I told you, like if you see like very dark, like extremely dark, you can say, "Oh yes, it's going to rain." So get get the clothes inside the house, so so I can have clothes for for tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's that's one way that we can use this. Uh, future with, with okay Just give me a minute i'm sorry okay here we go okay before we get into this practice okay uh what are these people saying okay so we have some pictures here yes i'm going to watch okay they uh, watch tv so you see the picture, right? And the person is like imagining, like, what is he going to do? So what about picture number two? What is the sentence in picture number two? I'm going to take a shower. Exactly, right? So um, I'm going to take a shower, right? Yes. Very good. What about this one? I'm going, I'm going to, to drive my new car. I'm going to drive my new car. Bye. Okay. I'm going to Very buy good. a car. Oh, oh. Going... Okay. Yes. Which one is buy or drive? <laughs> buy. Yes. I think it's drive because he opened the door. He's gonna get in. 
Oh, yeah. oh, okay. But look at the this rest. Look at the rest of the information here in the picture. Okay. Oh, buy a new car now. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, yes, right. Okay. To buy a new car. A new car. Sorry, a new car. Yep. Very good. And the last one. This one is easy, yeah. right? We are going to play We're going soccer. To play soccer. Exactly. Like right. going. Uh, play. Over. It's like the Netherlands and Apanteos, right? It looks like that. Yeah. We are going to play so yes, yeah, like the Netherlands here and this Apanteos team, right? Okay. So uh let me stop it here. Let me stop sharing. I'm sorry. Uh we're gonna work with the following thing, which is oh Jesus, we're gonna have this ready, okay. I'm gonna make like I use Zoom here so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna have this uh, dialogue, and then we are going to answer some questions. We have Mrs. Jones and Kimberly. Yeah. So I'm going to ask some of your classmates to read it, please. Uh, let me see. Daniela, what is Daniela? Is Daniela here? No, I'm not. Where she is in here. Uh, let me see. Delmi. Hello, Delmi. Good. Good evening, Delmi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Please. You are Mrs. Jones. Okay, Delmi. Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Cesar, good evening. Can you participate? Good evening, Thank you. You are Kimberly. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's begin. Excuse me, Delmi, you are Mrs. John. Delmi. Uh, Seria, I come to you. I come to you. Uh, it's a. Sold me to four. For me, Delmi, Seria. Yes. Very good. Continue. Yes. Sure, Mom. I think I'm going to have some too. What are you making? Uh, I am marketing suit cookies. Mm -hmm, yum. I want that snack. When are they going to be ready? I about 10 minutes. Boot leaves had a sandwich. Uh, before, no, before it, with eat cookies. Turkey? I can I have cheese on my sandwich too. Of, of course. Smith, smart are free, good is known. So good to whose had cookies with without something healthy, it would do at Edwin Snap offer a meal or a sandwich. So after I have my sandwich and some tea. Can I have a cookie? Through sure, sure. with the cookies are red, you can have two or two, one. I, I am also going to have one. They red delicious way they hope. Yay! The tea is almost ready. Do we have any lemons in the refrigerator? I allow for one, one no. I allow lemon in me tea too. On um, Jared, 
Oh, nein. Great, Mom. I love summer afternoons. We were at the home together. I love you, this. I definitely do there. Thank you so much, Delmi. That was very good. Okay, great job. You have mistakes in pronunciation, as you may see, right? But again, with practice, in practice, we can improve this mistake, okay? So my recommendation is when you hear your classmates reading this passage, you listen the pronunciation and you repeat at home, okay? Yes, great job. Um, Let me see. Cesar, very good, Cesar. Thank you so much. Great job. Wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna have Sarai and you, um, Milagro de la Paz. So just pick one, Milagro de la Paz. Pick one, Mrs. or Kimberly. Um, Mrs. Is, is okay. Perfect. So Sarai, you are Kimberly. Ready? Um, teacher, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? It's raining here. Oh, okay. Let me let me switch. Let me switch. Pick another one, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, please uh, come in, Lo help us. You're Kimberly, okay? I'm Kimberly. Uh, I love that day. <laughs> Can you make some tea for me, Kimberly? Sure, mom. I think I'm going to have some, some too. What are you making? I'm making some cookies. Yum. I want a snack. When are they going to be ready? In about a minute. But let's have sandwich before we eat cookies. Do you want a yam or turkey sandwich? Turkey. Turkey, and I can have cheese on my sandwich too. Of course. Sweet snack are fine, but it is not so good to just have cookies without something healthy. It's good to eat sweet snacks after a meal or a sandwich. So after I have my sandwich and some tea, can I have a cookie? Sure. When the cookies are ready, you can have two if you want. And I'm also going to have one. They are already delicious when they are hot. Yay, the tea is almost ready. Do we have any lemons in the refrigerator? I'm looking for one now. I love lemon in my tea too. Um, Here's one. Great, mom. I love summer afternoon when we are at home together. I love this afternoon too, dear. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Oh, yes, Juan, thank you. And, and the second line, uh, uh, before a two, uh, no va una coma? So, uh, por ejemplo, sure, mom, I, I think I am going to have some coma too. Um, yes, I guess. I guess, yes, there is a comma. Yeah. Y en yeah. la última línea también, teacher? Yeah, maybe we can have a comma here at the end. That's true. I love this afternoon too, dear. Um, over here, I guess not, because we have at the end a compliment like dear. Yeah, so, and also here, I think, um, yeah, you to like complete the idea. We don't, we don't need that, I, I guess so. Yeah, so it's like, I'm not sure about it. Yes, so I, in that one, I'm not sure about it. Um, but I think it's like here, yes, we need a comma, and maybe no, we don't need a comma. Like, it's like, you know, I think I'm going to have some too. Yeah, you know, it makes sense. I mean, the, the rhythm of the sentence, it sounds to me like it's good. 
But here at the end also, I love these afternoons too. Here also sounds the rhythm sounds perfectly to me, right? But um maybe in another book or maybe like you write there is a comma here like <laughs> before uh I'm sorry after sun but I'm not sure about it okay I'm not sure about this so, um uh, I'm sorry yes so we're gonna have this uh this conversation right we're gonna have some questions about which which are uh and those are these ones right which is Kimberly going I'm sorry what is Kimberly going to make for her mother do you remember the Oh, thank you. Give me the answer, please. Uh, yes, what is the answer to this question? Anybody? Anybody? Some tea? Oh, she's going, oh, she's going to make a tea? Some tea? <laughs> is what is Kimberly going to make for her mother? Okay, let's check. Let's check. Uh, hmm. Yes. You made some cookies. Excuse me? No. No. <laughs> tea. Tea. Tea, right? Tea. Tea. Okay, so she's she's some going tea. to make some tea. What is Kimberly going to eat this afternoon? Uh, she's She's going to eat the, a ham sandwich with cheese. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Why are Mrs. John and Kimberly looking for a lemon? What are they looking for a lemon? Mm -hmm. To put in the tea. For putting exactly, the tea. Exactly, right? Okay. <laughs> yes. Exactly, right? Oh, that sounds interesting. Lemon with tea. What does I know it just... tastes good, it tastes real good. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, yes. I, really, pecado, I, really it. Eso, right? oh, I never, <laughs> I never try that. I never try that, I'm... but it tastes good. I would do it. I would do it. What does Mrs. <laughs> Jones say about sweet snacks? Um, she said that snacks are good, but you need to to take before some healthy oh what do you think about it patricia where uh, yes I, I agree with her i agree with her you need to to eat some uh some healthy and after that you can take whatever <laughs> ice cream <laughs> cookies or other things for dessert oh that's wonderful that's wonderful what season of the year is it? Mrs. John and Kimberly Jones and Kimberly are having this dialogue. What's the season? Is that winter? Is that autumn? Um, it's uh, summer. 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 Exactly. Let's check. Yes. Here we have. Look at this one. Summer. It's summer. Summer yeah. afternoon. Summer <laughs> afternoon. Okay. Very good. So let's take a look at this conversation. Do you have do you have this kind of dialogues with your children at home? Do you have this kind of dialogues with your children at home? It is a very sweet dialogue. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so and, and, and it, it sounds pretty good. Like, if you have the chance to mm -hmm. play with your children, uh, that would be good. I know that sometimes it's hard because they are so into technology and, and cell phone, right? But it sounds pretty interesting. Obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, like, if you got the chance to do it, uh, just do it, right? Take advantage of your children enjoy the way they are right now uh if you have teenagers i'm sorry for you <laughs> <laughs> i got two daughters <laughs> i'm sorry for you if you have teenagers but you know at the end enjoy enjoy the time um to, like i don't know um understand the way they behave because uh back in the day we used to be like them right uh somehow and and um that's the way they are sometimes right Try to help them, you know what I mean, to, to get through this process 
of uh, getting uh, or growing very much, growing, right? Yes, thank you so much. Let me see. Okay, I will take the attendance. I'm sorry, just give me some time. Uh, Alvaro Camilo Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you Good so night. much. Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Cesar Aparicio Mendoza. Here, present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Dadwin. No, he isn't. Tell me, you're here, right? Tell me. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Tell me. Efraín. No, he isn't. What about Stephanie Saraí Martinez? Present teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Franklin Magaña Lopez. Hello, hello. Franklin? No, he isn't. Okie dokie. Geraldine Chacon. Hello, Geraldine. Hello, good evening. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Hebel, let me check. Hebel, I think she was writing in the chat, right? Hebel. Oh, yes, Hebel. Also, Emilio. Thank you so much, Emilio. Right now, let me fix that really quick. So, and Hebel. Okay. Uh, Ingrid Flores. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Irma Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irma. Nice to have you. Uh, Jesus Escobar. Present. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Juan David Madrid Melendez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Catherine Rivera. Catherine. No, she isn't. Kevin Flores Barrera. <coughs> Kevin. Kevin. Oh, he is. What about Lucia? Lucia Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Welcome. Nice to have you. Melvin Diaz, gentlemen. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Merin, that's Daniela Carranza. Dialogue. Good evening, Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Nice to have you one more time. Milagro de la Paz. Thank you so much. I'm for here, here, mister. Welcome. No, thank Mirna. you. Mirna Landos. Hello. Mirna. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Present. Nice to have you, Mirna. Nelson Ceron. Gentlemen, are you here? Nelson? No, he isn't. What about Patricia Garcia? Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome one more time. Patricia Castellanos? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Ronald Alexis yes. Martinez. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you again. Roxana Diaz Rivera. Roxana? No, she isn't. Okay, let me check. Okay, let's carry on. We have Sandra Asensio. Hello, Sandra. Present teacher, hello. Good evening, nice to have you. And Sandra Arribas. Present teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Nice to have you one more time. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let me show you one more time the presentation. Again, we're working with the future, uh, which is well and going. One more time, we will have the differences between these two, right? Uh, there is a slight difference. Right? Yesterday, we were working, and if you notice, we have some. Going, please, I will. Um, okay. going to, I will. Future with will, and this is future with going to, right? Do you remember the phrases that goes with future with will? Uh huh. That I, do you remember? Oh, it's raining, right? Oh, sorry. It's raining. I, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Emilio. Mm, now it's the rain is up. Okay, it's better. Now. Okay, thank you. Do you remember the phrases that we use to identify like uh, future with will? Uh, probably. Oh, I think. 
maybe. Exactly, exactly. Right? So those are the typical expressions that let us know, oh, this is with future with will, and uh, that helps us a little bit when, when we have it in context, right? Uh, and here we have, as you may see, immediate, immediate decision, and this is a prior plan with going to, right? So you can... Oh, give me a minute. It's just, uh, it doesn't allow me to move. So, oh, yes, there we go. So yes, we have prior plans here we're going to in like immediate decision when it comes with uh, a will, okay? Yeah. Let's take a look at more examples. Here we have this conversation. You see there, we're gonna use I'm going to or will according to the context. Here we have Elena and here we have Scott. So we can use we can use these phrases, right? And in addition, we need to add the future we're going to in the future we will, so we can like complete the conversation. The first one is done already. So Elena, do you have any vacation plans? Well, I'm going to pay in my apartment because there was an ugly car. What about you? What is the next sentence? What kind of future we future we will or future we're going to? I'm going to rent a car and take a long drive. So what is the phrase that, that goes here? I'm going to, to rent a car and take a long drive. Oh, okay. So it's going to be, I'm going to? To rent a car. Okay. Right. A car? Not a car. Yeah. I apologize, okay? That mistake was funny. I'm going to rent a car and take it. Okay, very good. Where are you going to go? Okay, what is the next one? I think I visit my sister, Jean. Oh, oh I probably. Visit. I'm not sure I will. I will visit my sister. I will. Okay, so it's going to be I will like like this one. I will um I will uh, this it you tell me why. Oh oh we need what is the word that I need before will? I probably okay. will visit. Well visit. Uh and then we have my sister. Jean. Okay. Uh Jean. I think it's Jean, right? That's the pronunciation, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like Jim Gray. You remember Jim yes. Gray? Okay. Yeah. Thank Jean. you. That's, that sounds nice. I, uh, I like to visit my family. Yes. And? And I think I, well, I may, maybe I, and I maybe, or, uh, maybe I maybe we'll visit one time. No. Yeah, yeah. But in okay. And okay, that's yeah. Okay, yes, and maybe right. And maybe I. Okay. I'll go. Maybe. I'll. I'll go to the mountains. To the mountains. Mountains, right. yes. Mountains. Oh, yes. Somebody was talking about going to these places. I guess so. That's what I was saying. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Very good. What about the next one? Mm -hmm. I am going to find my apartment. 
Uh, and now we have it here. We have it here already. I probably will probably my study. I'm going to study. Catch up my. Okay. I probably that one. I probably. I probably will catch up. Study. Se puede poner también como I guess, teacher. Will catch up. Yes, also you can, teacher. I guess. It's probably, teacher. I shall. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> probably, oh, I forgot. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, so uh, forget. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. Oh, uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll yes. catch up. On, oh. My right. study. I'm study. A study. I love this pronunciation of this uh, this word in ing. A studying. Studying. Uh, they, they do it like very long. A studying. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Okay. So. Okay. Studying. Yes, studying. I have to do work. I have to do a lot of work before to school. So let me let me fix this one because. Okay. Uh Teacher, what is the meaning of catch up? Oh, catch up. Any idea? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I I could imagine, <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, the I meaning, I, I, I'm not sure. It's like, for example, you are studying right now this module, right? Uh -huh. And you are like, let's say, uh, they tell you, oh, by, by Friday, I need section number five, but you haven't finished yet. You know what I mean? So you need to mm -hmm. catch up on uh, your okay. study. Like to yeah. be a, a, a update, like to be. Exactly, exactly right, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes that happens at work, yes. But here the context is uh, with, with the study. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that is happening here because sometimes that this happens at work. We have a bunch of papers that we need to present, but suddenly the time isn't enough, right? So we need to catch up with mm -hmm. <laughs> with the, with these uh, different like I don't know duties that we have at work. Okay, and the last one should be going to or will. Oh, I mean, Just going to. Going to. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes, because I need to have will here. I'm going to. Uh, Give me a minute. I'm sorry. My mistakes. Um, I probably will. Uh, oh, Jesus. On my studying. Okay. So this one doesn't allow me. Very good. Uh, probably will catch up. Okay, very good. And the last one is? I'm uh, going to. to. Okay. Very good. I'm going to. Oh, look at this one. I love it. Relax. On the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This one is fantastic, right? I wish we I wish we could have this one, right? Mm -hmm. You could have this one, but um okay. So I wanted to save it, please save the conversation what i need you to do is like for example on um, yes when you practice with your partner you need to change your sister's name yes you can say your real sister's name or if you don't have a sister you can pretend like i don't know maybe Britney Spears with your sister <laughs> oh, i'm going to visit my sister Britney Spears right so save save the conversation i'm going to open the breaker room so you can practice with a partner, remember, like, it doesn't matter if you do mistakes. Yes, okay. I need you to practice and hear your classmates so you can correct those a little issue with, with pronunciations that, that sometimes we have. Yes, do you understand? Save save the conversation. If, if someone, uh, please okay. do me a favor, send it on, on WhatsApp group so the class, your classmates can have it. That will be nice. Yes, yeah. I will open the breaker rooms again so you can practice with your partners, right? Yes, okay. do it as many times as possible. Yes, I think 
uh, most of the vocabulary is pretty much easy to pronounce. But again, practice makes uh, like not perfect, but help us a lot, right? Help us a lot, that's for sure. Yeah, so that's that's the only way. So uh, you ready? Yes, you got it? Yes, sir. Wonderful, thank you so much. Uh, give me a minute while I open the breaker rooms. You can join. I will open the breaker rooms with three and four in case one of your classmates is having problems with his or her mic. Okay, so you can, um, yes, here we go. In the main room, let me see. I will have Camilo, Kevin, and Sandra Rivas. Sandra? Hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Usted se queda aquí in the main room, okay? Yes. Okay. Also, you, Camilo, and Kevin Flores, the three of you in the main room. The rest, please join your partners so you can practice this conversation. Oh, usted is having problems. Okay. Okay, but let's check the rest. Okay, there you go. Join the breakout rooms, please, so you can practice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yes. Irma, Patricia Castellanos, please. Irma. Irma, join, please. Irma, join. Join your partner. Irma, Nelson and Melvin, you need to join, please. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, Geraldine, you need to join, also Mirna. Okay. Okay, we have two. No. Okay, I will send this one to number five. Seven. Okay. Okay, so the rest of you, please, this is time for you to practice. So this is time for you to practice. Okay, do it, please. Okay. Oh, this is Podría presentar la diapositiva, por favor. Oh, Camila, do you have the screen? Like the picture of, of this conversation so you can share? Because I, I don't have it. I don't have it because I stopped, I stopped sharing, so everything is gone. No, I don't have it right now. Okay, let me check. I'm using my cell phone, so I got problem how to... You, how to... Okay, let's see the... if I can get it. I think. Yeah. Uh, voy a presentar ahorita entonces. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. One minute. Can you see? Yes, a little bit of soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am Scott. Okay. Yes, I really. I'm Scott. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye, está bien, Camila. Okay. We just we just gonna read, that's all. Okay, let's start. It. Okay. Yeah. So Elena, do you have any vacations planned? Well, I am going to paint my my apartment because the wells are really ugly color what about you i'm going to rent a car and take a long drive where are you going to go wait 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 i'm not sure i probably i will visit my sister jenny i haven't seen her in a long time that's so nice i like to visit my family too 
Yes, and maybe I will go to mountains for a few days. I haven't been haven't been I hiking in mountains. How about you? Are you going to do anything else on your vacations? I probably will catch up on my study. I I haven't, I have a lot of. Uh, one moment. Mm. I probably will capture on my study. I have a lot of work to before school start. That sounds, that doesn't sound like much fun. Oh, I am planning to having some fun too. I am going to relax on the beach. I love to. Okay, it's cortado. I know. Okay. Hay alguien más por acá para la participación. Bueno. Who else? No sé quién más. O lo cambiamos. Hoy, hoy sos tú, Scott, y yo soy Elena. Ok. Ok, go ahead. So, Elena, do you have any vacation plans? Well, I'm going to pay my apartment because the walls are really ugly color. What about you? I am going to rent a car and I take a long drive. We are going... We are. Where are you going to do to go? I am not sure. I probably will visit my sister Jean. I haven't seen her in a long time. That sounds nice. I like to visit my family too. Yes, and maybe I'll go to the mountains for for few days. I haven't been hiking in months. Uh, how about you? Are you going to do anything else in your vacation? I probably will catch up on my studying. I have a lot of work to do before school starts. That doesn't sound like much, much fun. Oh, I am planning to have some fun too. I'm going to relax on the beach. I love to. Okay. Okay. Más? Someone meeting? else? Somebody else? This meeting is being. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. That was very good. Okay. Very good, Sandra. That's the way, right? That's the way. I know sometimes it's, we are afraid to speak, but you're doing it very good. Keep working like that because you're doing it very good. Okay? okay That's the way. Also, thank, Camilo, you. thank you so much for helping her on this one. Okay. It's very nice of you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, people, for uh, practicing in the breakout rooms. That was very nice. Let's continue with some questions for you. I love questions because that makes it still. Okay, we have look at the ask this answer, right questions to using be going to. So we have the uh the answer first, and we're gonna work with questions in here. Yes. So for example, I'm going to uh sorry, I'm going to go some place. Nice and fine. Uh and the question is where are you going to go? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, so we need to read the answer first, so then we can figure out what is the question based on the answer, okay? Let's work with number two. What do you think is the question in number two? What are you going to do? To do? 
Thank you. What about number three? What are you going to do uh, this weekend? What are you going to stay? Are you going to stay? Yeah. Where are you going to stay? I am. Where are you going to stay? What about the number four? Mm -hmm. Are you going to travel uh, with any with someone else? Uh, someone else? Are going Where to, are you going? Are you going? Are you going to to, to travel, travel with, with someone, someone else alone? Yeah, or someone else? Other person? <laughs> no, I'm going to travel myself. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Are you going to travel by yourself? Are you going to to someone else? Travel to some with, with some, friends. Someone else with some friends. friends. Someone else. Some friends. Oh, Are you going to travel with some friends? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Easy, right? Not 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 a, a big deal. Very good. So if you notice, uh, well, they, I think verb to be help us a lot here. I think like instead of uh say like um trying to make us like um uh, get in trouble with verb to be, I think verb to be help us a lot when it comes to use the uh, the future we're going to. It's easier to structure the grammar structure with with if we have the verb to be. I guess. I guess I that's the way. Very good. Thank you so much. Any question about this? No. no. I love the number one. Okay. I love the number one. That's the good one. Yes. I'm going to go. Going to go. <laughs> quiet and nice, right? Nice and quiet. Okay. Oh, nice and Thank quiet. You. Now let's answer this question. We have one, okay, and two questions. This one is going to be for you. Number one is going to be for you, Ana Beatriz Martinez. What do you do on vacation? Okay. Uh, I like to to say ho. <laughs> Tell me why. Um, and. And I like to to watch uh movies. Mm. And to spend time with my family. Yes. It's especially for me. <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, sounds I like good. Sharing that. Yeah, you know, that's that's unique. Mirna. Because I Janet. feel I feel you you tire more when you go out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes. That is true. When you yeah. come back. What do you yes. think about it, Wanda? Do you agree with her? Yes. Uh, teacher, in, in, in my case, uh, it's, it's, it's equal with with Beatrice. My my neighbors in general uh, to go the visit other other side other place in my house is quiet and, and quiet. In, yeah, quiet quiet excuse me quiet and it's relaxed in my in my house oh. so enjoy your house <laughs> was, yes it's, it's the, nice. the best the best option in the vacation <laughs> You take advantage. You take advantage of that, right? Like if, if your neighbors go to somewhere, like you take advantage because okay. everything is quiet around your house. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Uh, I hear the music, the the the, the high volume. Very good. That was a very good one. That was very good. Okay, that makes sense a lot. That was that makes sense a lot. Okay, <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, Ronald Alexis, question number two. What did you do on your last vacation? 
Uh, question two. Ah, I have a lot of light. Just um, how did I stay at home? <laughs> three, three zero, three zero. So, so you rest, you rest a lot, right? That's what you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was good. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, let me find somebody. Mirna Janet Landos. Question number two. What did you do on your last vacation? Um, and last vacation is um go to um como le dice ruedas eh, eh, feria no no sé cómo se dice amusement mm -hmm. park feria Oh, so you went to? Ah, oh. oh, an amusement park. Amusement park. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. Correct. Yes. yes. Is, uh, correct. Amusement say, uh, park? Uh, or you can uh, say Cyberland, right? Cyberland. You can say that. Yes. You can say that. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and the park. Yes. And the park. Did you, did you try El Tagada, by the way, Mirna? Did you, there? Did you try El Tagada? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. told her there. No, no, no. It's nice. But that wasn't for you. El Tagada wasn't for you. I saw her there. No. <laughs> you saw her yelling. It's a fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay thank you no that's nice right that's nice if yes. you have a chance to go out and enjoy a little bit that, that's nice right you know? uh, but if you, you also have a chance, <laughs> if you also have a chance to stay at home in a quiet place in a quiet moment let's say because you don't have a lot you don't have a lot right thank you so much for sharing patricia esmeralda garcia what about you what do you like to do on vacation? Um, in my case, my mom, my my husband, they work all, all week. And <laughs> I like to uh, take care of my daughter. <laughs> so um, I like to and uh, do my homework. <laughs> That's good. That's also to catch up, right? To catch up. Okay, so you try to catch up. Okay. Very good. What are the things, you tell me that you spend time with your daughter. What are the things that you usually do with your daughter? It's amazing. So sometimes I go to the park and I visit the river. It's near for me. And it's relaxing. <laughs> I watch it. I watch TV. I I wash the dishes. <laughs> I am not a Oh, that's very nice. She's, she's very cute, right? I watch the I watch the dishes. I cry. <laughs> that was very humble of you. That was very humble of you. And I say, you know, oh, this is nice. nice. <laughs> okay. That's very nice, okay? And, and I'm glad that you spend time with your daughter because uh, she's like, um, as you may know, like, it's like part of being a mom, right? That's that's very nice. Uh, what about you, Sandra Rivas? What do you like to do on vacation? Uh, in my case, um, on my last, last bike, Vacation. I went to the bed in the rain. River. That's good. How was it? How was what? it? How was it? Was it good? Like, did you enjoy? Um, I don't understand. 
That's okay. Was it good or was it not good? Uh, good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. So uh, we will continue working on this one uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, don't forget to be nice and kind, and we will see you tomorrow in another English class here on Zoom. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good for night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good